All right, welcome to another Dumb Daddy Talk video. This is a video about sound selection. We're not going to get too in depth. We're just going to talk about it in terms of drums. And then we'll do a part two, maybe in a week or two, where we talk about other sounds. All right, so sound selection is an important aspect make really coherent music. It is just an important theory in my book and to be the theory. Check out yesterday's video. It's up here at the top right. It is about the pentatonic scales. It's just major or minor. It's not a big deal. Just watch a video if you'd like to know a little bit about it. And beyond that, up here on the top right again. There's a video from Tuesday, just about major and minor scales. It's a little bit of basic music theory. I'm going to build up something bigger. And if you're looking for a new instrument or something to add a little bit more sounds, check out the review from yesterday. Excuse me, from Wednesday. That is way up here on the top. And that is BBC Symphony Orders of Discover. If you go into that video, there is a link where you pick it up for 100% free. It's great. It's a great thing. Check that out. Check out the other videos. And check out everything else. Thanks. All right, back to this video. Um, you can start with completely terrible samples. And it will carry all the way through. Trap sample sounds, uh, presets, whatever you're working with, instruments. You get the wrong thing, it's just a snowball effect. But if you just start out, sometimes it's a daunting process. You get the right sound, so what you do is start small. See what sounds better. Go out and listen to whatever genre you're trying to make. You're going to listen to their drums and their other instrumentation. Like guitars, basses. Yeah, this is what they're working with. And I work with a lot of hip hop, boom bap, trap, everything, but I listen to a lot of it too. So you got to hear what works and what doesn't just listen to other artists. Now, I'm not saying don't be original. I, I want you to be. Just be a bit, whatever. But getting too original, you ain't going to sell nothing. But really, you should be doing this for the love of music before, above anything else. Um. Yeah, we gotta figure this out. I'm gonna say we gotta have good sounds, and then the sky is the limit. Um, using flashing sounds is tough. So if you have a lot of low end and you beat, you better be really making sure that has space. And that is another part of sound selection. Another good tip is don't use too many sounds. Because eventually you'll be overwhelmed when it comes to listen, you won't feel like doing it. I've been there, I've met tracks with other people that are like 70, 80 tracks. Now, some of that stuff you could pump and combine and feel that you're all good to go, but it's a lot to avoid too many sounds because you just get overwhelming and turn into a big mess. So sometimes the way to do this is practice leave yourself a limit. Like, okay, I can only have know, like 10 sounds or five sounds even. I've done that. We have three. Three instrument, two drum challenge. Except, no, except 
Please accept as the extreme level of love. And EQ and other fancy plugins can help you fix your sounds that you didn't get the wrong sounds. But it's a limited extent. It's easier and far more effective if you start at the source, which is the sound. Let's read that. I made a little beat. Well, two little beats. One is boom bap. One is trap. Now, I did that because I'm going to test the drums. So this is a trap beat. It's actually pretty fast. It's 85 BPM. It's pretty good double that. So what is that, 170? Let's look at the long, that's it's in direct territory. But anyways, this is what it should sound like with these drums. Okay. This is trap drums. The kind of thing it should be. Let's turn on the boom bap. Boom bap drums, let's not say beat. Doesn't sound as good. I really should have rather these. Oh, wait a minute, okay. Let's put these on six. Then we'll put that in one on seven. So we can actually, this is a little bit easier. Oh. A little bit faster. They don't move the fastest. But well, let's do that. So it's a. Uh, Turn this back on. All right, so we're going to listen to... Hmm. Listen to it again. The trap, and then I'll switch it. Isn't that much better with the trap drums? We're going to do that a bit differently. And boom bap. Let's check out what it really should sound like. So that is boom bap with the drums, it should get yeah, me that old school vibe. And there's not like with the trap drums. Doesn't sound as good, does it? I don't think so, but I just have to say. I've been reiterating through this whole video. Sound selection is important. There's a thousand of samples, thousands of presets. Out there, I'm pretty sure you can find ones that go well together. Even if you have all three instruments and patterns, all three instruments and samples, you can find good stuff. The idea is just practice. So it swap your sounds. You don't always get it right in the first shot. 
There's a lot to practice. Especially if you're like brand new to this. This time to learn. And you will. When was it built in the day? We don't know that, but we got tore down in the day. And that'll be what happens if you don't use the right sounds. Now, be sure to like and subscribe if any of you liked it. Uh, hit me up on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, I'm around. So you can check that out in the description. Uh, be sure to tune in for Sunday. Good shit, this is Sunday. I'm going to make a. Uh, well, you have to tune in to see what we make. It's going to involve seal. Definitely be sure to tune into that. Hey, work on your sound selection. It's going to say, uh, much love and peace to you. Catch you later.